Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. I'm Jalita and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made my new jewelry wall organizer. It was really easy to make and it was also budget friendly because basically all the supplies I used were things I already own and they're probably things you already have in your home too. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the supplies that I used for my organizer were a picture frame that I no longer needed, some spray paint, some thumbtacks. I used um, fabric napkins, but if you don't have fabric napkins, you can use any fabric of your choice, whatever you like, and also hot glue sticks and a hot glue gun. So the first step would be to take the picture out of the picture frame, take it outside so you can spray paint it. Um, I'm going to actually paint my board white and paint my frame gold. The reason that I'm spray painting my board white is because the fabric that I'm using doesn't cover my whole board. If the fabric that you use covers your whole board, then you don't even have to spray paint the board part. You just have to spray paint the frame. So once you get those all nice and covered with your spray paint and it's exactly how you want it to look, you just sit them to the side and let them dry. Next, once those are done drying, you go back inside and that's when you begin to cover your board with your fabric. Um, like I said, if your fabric covers your whole board, that's great. Mine didn't, so it took me a little bit longer to cover it, but yeah, I went ahead and did it. And you'll probably see at some point I decided that I only want the um, darker stripes to be my background. I didn't want the green stripes, so what I decided to do was cut the fabric where the green stripes was and just make sure I cover the whole board with the darker stripes. Next, once you have your whole board covered the way that you like it, then you begin to secure it with the hot glue. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just going along the edges, gluing everything down, making sure that it's nice and secure. So then I'm going to flip it over and just make sure it's all glued and nice and secure to the back side. So that way, like none of the fabric comes up or anything like that and it just stays in place. Lastly, I'm going to secure my board to my frame. Now my frame has those black fasteners that is supposed to hold the board in place. But like I've said, I've had this for a while. So some of those black fasteners have broken off. So you'll see me gluing it in certain areas and then using the fasteners to hold it in place. So then you're gonna flip your board over, make sure everything is nice and smooth and looks how you want it to look. And then you'll begin laying your necklaces on the board where you would like them to hang. For me, my background has lines on it. So I just kind of followed along the lines to keep it straight. And I pretty much did like my longer necklaces at the top and shorter necklaces at the bottom, but it's totally up to you. You style this part however you would like it. When you're done with that part, you're going to want to begin to put your thumbtacks in. This part is fairly easy, but I have long nails, so a lot of times they don't let me be great. So I had to use the scissors to like hold the thumbtack and then just use my thumb to press it down. That's what you'll see me doing right here. So when you're all done with that, your board should look something like this. It's really simple and easy and quick, and it looks way more organized than what I currently have. So all we have left to do now is hang this up. So I wanted to show my current organization, what I had before we made the one that we just made. Um, as you can see, it's really like just very overcrowded and bunched up. My necklaces even sometimes get tangled up. I had a lot of stuff up here that I wasn't using. So yeah, it just wasn't working for me at all. 
and here it is guys all hung up i'm so glad i did this it looks way better than what i had up here before now i can actually see what i'm trying to grab to put on and not have to untangle things and yeah i did this like i said all with items that i already owned and i'm pretty sure they're most of the items are things that you already own also so i'm just glad i did it, it looks way better so I wanted to show you guys this other budget friendly idea that I had. I found these cute little saucers at the Goodwill. They came two in a pack and they were less than a dollar. They were like 40 cents each. And all I did was clean it off really good and set my rings up on it. It's great for like when you wear different rings and have maybe, you know, like several rings that you need to store somewhere and you just set them up really pretty on the plate. And I think it came out very cute. So that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you actually tried it out. And as always, thank you for watching.